Now, if you were to ask somebody what the purge is, they'll tell you, oh, it's the one night a year that all crime is legal. You can literally do whatever you want and no one's going to stop you. And that's what the purge is, well, the idea of the purge. Now, what the purge is, the movie is just a generic home invasion movie. Now, home invasion movies, if you don't know, are very simple. There's people trying to get inside the house, and you got people inside the house trying to keep them out. That's about it. Just look at The Strangers, or When a Stranger Calls, or Panic Room. Those are very good examples. But, might as well review this, so here we go. So the story goes, we got Ethan Hawke and his white upper class family is preparing for the purge. And they do not participate in the purge, they just activate their systems and they lock down their entire house. Well then we have this black guy getting chased by a bunch of um, purge participators and the dumbass little kid opens the door for him and lets him inside the house. Somehow they lose the homeless black guy and he's loose inside the house. And then we have the people chasing after the homeless guy wanting the homeless guy so they can kill him. So the whole movie is just a family trying to get this black guy out of their house so that they don't get killed. That's the basic plot of the movie. I gotta tell you, this family is just dumb as shit and it's just painful to watch. The movie's full of a lot of cheesy dialogue, a lot of cliches, and I, this is a very dumb family. Pretty much, it's just, you, like every, you don't like any of the characters. You might like the dad, Ethan Hawke, because he's a pretty good actor. And for me, the most interesting character to watch was the leader of these hooligans trying to get inside. Every scene the polite leader was on screen was actually fun to watch. And I noticed that he was pretty much trying to be like, you know, Heath Ledger's Joker. Which he was doing a pretty good imitation, I guess. But I like watching him because he was very, you know, proper, very trimmed, very clean cut. And he's a gentleman. And he just wants to kill these people and he's being so nice about it. That's why he's fun to watch. Everybody else in the movie, though? Fuck them. You're not going to remember them. The fucking little ass kid is annoying. The fucking older sister is stupid. And the mom is just forgettable. Best characters to watch? Ethan Hawke and the polite leader. And two people can't hold up this entire movie full of cheesy ass dialogue, a bunch of cliches, and possibly the dumbest family in cinema history. Honestly, the, the purge, you know, the idea of the purge is, you know, crimes illegal one day out of the year. It, of course, being a totally unrealistic concept is a cool idea for a movie, but it was completely wasted in this movie. I swear, like, if The Purge wasn't happening, this movie probably wouldn't be that much different. So, it was just a wasted thing in the movie. All it was is just a reason for the people to try breaking to this house, but even then, I don't even think it would have changed that much. Even if The Purge wasn't happening. Weird thing is, though, by the end of it, I still actually enjoyed this movie. Not a whole lot. I thought it was actually pretty fun to watch, mainly because I like the Joker clone and I like Ethan Hawke. They're two fun characters to watch. Okay, I mainly like the Joker clone. I'm not obsessed with the Joker, I'm just, yeah, I'm obsessed a little bit. Honestly though, you can just forget about this movie. It's a pass, who cares? If you're looking forward to it, you're going to be disappointed. Me, not, you know, being interested in it when I first heard about it, I actually kind of liked it. If I were to see it in a $5 bin, I would probably pick it up. But hey, I mean, you could easily get a laugh out of it, even if you don't like the movie. By the way, it's a horror flick, and it's not scary at all. It tries to be creepy and eerie, but it just doesn't work. A few unshocking jump scares here and there, and that's about it. And the Purge is just a little disappointment. Now, what does look promising, though, is a new Purge Anarchy movie that just came out. The reason this looks so good is because it's what people want to see. They want to see the Purge happen, and that's what this movie is focused about. These, families trap these people are trapped in this inner city while the Purge is happening. They're trying to get home. That is a lot more interesting than what The Purge is. You know, the first movie that came out last year. Purge Anarchy looks good, though. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.